Hey guys, it's your favorite product review influencer. Now, it's been a long time since I've done a product review. I think the last one I did was for Trader Joe's pea protein, so you guys can check that out right over here. But I wanted to do a, a new product review, and this one is gonna be a little bit more interesting in my opinion. So as many of you guys know, I was born in Guadalajara, Mexico, so I'm not tanned from the beach or being outside. I'm always tanned, because uh, I'm, I'm Mexican. <laughs> And uh, when I was a baby, two weeks old, I was adopted from Mexico um, by a New York City Jewish family. And I was brought to Forest Hills, Queens, which is where I grew up. And I have identified as a Mexican Jew most of my, most of my life. Um, now I live in Thailand. And what I've noticed, I mean, this is one of the first things you'll notice, especially if you're a person of color like I am, is that none of the TV shows, none of the advertisements, None of the celebrities, none of the pop stars have tanned skin. So I've noticed when I, when I would travel across all of Asia, actually, especially in Japan, Vietnam, Korea, and Thailand, that there really are no uh, tan people represented anywhere in the media. And so I decided to do a little bit of research about this. And the reason why, it's pretty consistent um, across all of these countries. Basically, there is this belief by society that if you have tan skin, uh, it typically means that you have an outdoor type of job. Maybe you work on a farm or, you know, you work underneath the sun. And so you come from a lower socioeconomic background. So here in Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Thailand, tan skin is typically frowned upon. And it's almost as if you looked at as a second class citizen. Paler skin or skin color closer to white typically means you are elites. You come from money. You're rich, you're educated and you're successful. So there's this clear uh, delineation of, of someone's perception in society based solely on their skin color. And so what's interesting in Thailand is as I've traveled around Thailand, I've gone to um, you know, stores like 7-Eleven, I've looked at many billboards, I've noticed that there's a lot of ads for skin whitening cream. And to me, this was very jarring because in America, we have the exact opposite. We have uh, tanning salons, we have spray tans, we have uh, you know, uh, oils that make you tanner. And I think in America, what's interesting is when you're tan, that's typically associated with the sign of a lavish lifestyle. You go to the beach, you go to the pool, you spend time drinking cocktails on fancy rooftops. And so these culture differences to me have been very interesting. Now, I do desperately think that places like Thailand, Japan, Vietnam, Korea, they need to start having more representation in their media. Um, because I think that a majority of these countries, especially Thailand, a majority of the country is tan. The people here, most of them are closer to my skin color. And yet a majority of your country doesn't have the opportunity to see themselves on media or ads or as celebrities. And to me, that's kind of sad because you don't have anyone that you could aspire to. And what that does is that it really reinforces the stereotype that white is beautiful and tan is not. And so to me, I'd like to see that change so that all the young brown boys and girls can see someone in media that looks just like them. And, um, you know, maybe that can change um, some of their ambitions or, or even their self-worth in a way uh, in life. So with that said, that's my little spiel on some of the culture differences between the U.S. and uh, living in Asia. Uh, but what I did want to finally do, I wanted to try one of the skin whitening products that I found today. Now, I didn't choose one of the fancy ones or expensive ones. I chose the cheapest one I found, which in 7-Eleven was uh, Sea Star Collagen Plus. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I'll over overlay a product shot. Now, I've never used the whitening cream before in my entire life. And uh, I'm not doing this video to uh, promote these kind of products. I'm doing this because I really want to see if it works. That's the bottom line. Can it work on a skin color that is dark? If it does work, I'll never use it again because I don't want to have lighter skin. I've come to love my Mexican blood. I've loved my Mexican 
uh, ethnicity. So I'm not trying to become lighter skinned. Um, you know, in a few months, some of you guys know, I guess now everyone's going to know, I'm going to be moving to Florida. Um, I don't know if it's Miami or Fort Lauderdale or Tampa. I'm still going to figure that out. But I'm not running away from the sun. I'm not hiding from the sun. I'm staying in the sun as much as possible because I hate the goddamn snow. So anyway, don't think that I'm, I'm promoting this today because I want you guys to like be brainwashed that white is beautiful. Um, white is beautiful, by the way, but I don't think that we should feel the need to whiten our skin um, just for society's approval. Society should accept us the way we are. And luckily in America, you know, we do have black athletes and celebrities and models. We do have Latino, uh, Latinx celebrities, model models. And anyone that says otherwise, and we should, uh, you know, have more of it. Yeah, of course we should have more. But if you live anywhere else in the world, you'll see how little representation there is. So we should be very grateful that in America, uh, we have so much representation. And it's perspectives like this that can only come from being a global traveler. If you are raised in America and you never left America, yeah, you're probably going to, you know, judge a few things differently than if you travel the world. I just saw how different things are. So I encourage everyone to travel the world to get a more worldly view of everything. But in the meantime, let's try this uh, C-Star Collagen Plus product. So uh, I can't read these directions because all of it's in Thai. So I'm not going to read directions, but I assume that um, I'm supposed to open the package and just apply it on my face. So let's see what happens. I also don't know how long I'm supposed to leave it on for, but I'll leave it on for about... I don't know, 15 minutes. What I should probably do is just do half my face right now so that you guys can see the difference. That's what I'll do. I'll do half the side of my face. I'll do my left side so I could have a potentially whiter side. And then I'll leave the right side of my face natural. Now I will say this product, as I'm applying it, it does smell really good. So it's a pretty enjoyable spa-like scent if you guys wanted to try this. And um, I should probably tell you what's in this. Sea Star Collagen Plus Whitening Cream. Active in Korea. So yeah, this it looks like it's a Korean type of product or maybe the, the ingredients come from Korea. Now, Korea is a leader in cosmetics. Uh, for those of you who've seen K-pop men uh, like BTS, uh, these guys, they all wear makeup. And so I know that Korea in general uh, and a lot of these Korean celebrities and spokespeople, they're trying to make makeup mainstream here in the U.S. and America, um, which I'm not sure how quickly that'll take off. I mean, personally, me, I never wear makeup. I don't think I'd start wearing makeup. Just because I saw K-pop stars or anyone wearing makeup doesn't make me feel encouraged that I have to wear makeup too. You know, they're they're definitely are going to be people that are swayed by advertising and media and I, and I totally get that um and you know even the metrosexual movement of the the 2000s uh in america definitely worked you know guys started caring about their appearance more they started getting manicure pedicures but again i don't think that's a majority of men i think that it's still going to be an uphill battle i think the transition to get men to do mani pedis or dress better was a much lower obstacle than uh, a much lower mindset obstacle than getting men to start wearing makeup. I feel like that's a much bigger leap for men to do. I don't know. That's my opinion. Um, I do think maybe the LGBT communities, I know that they're all, all about makeup already, you know, makeup and beauty. So that's definitely a market for, 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 for makeup brands and these type of creams. But um, for the mainstream kind of, you know, guy, the straight men like myself, um, I don't know if wearing makeup is going to become, you know, totally mainstream. Uh, there's something to be said for a man who keeps his <laughs> rugged looks. I'm not rugged by any means, you know. I don't even. I can't grow a beard at all. But to wear makeup, not sure if I'll, you know, if I'll make that leap. I do, however, already get my eyebrows done. I get. I've had laser hair removal on my legs, so I have done some things that were typically only done by uh, by by women. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I'll be back in 15 minutes. I'm gonna leave this cream on and. Uh, We'll see if it makes a difference. All right, guys, be right back. All right, guys, so in case I did not do it correctly the first time, I'm going to apply a second layer of skin whitening cream on my left side of my face only. You know, really just to make sure that we're doing this the right way. 
And if I don't get this right the first time, I won't have any more product to try again. So this will be it. Okay. Okay, I think that should be good. So let's just leave it. 15 more minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, see you guys soon. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've only applied this Sea Star Collagen Skin Whitening Cream onto the left side of my face, and I've left the right side of my face completely naked. So we'll see if there's a difference in my skin color in about 10 more minutes. So be right back. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes, so I'm going to take off the, uh, the, the skin whitening cream from the left side of my face. So let's see if there's a difference in the before and after. Here we go. All right, guys, so we took off the mask, and uh, what do you guys think? Is there a difference? This is the side that had the cream on. This side did not have the cream on. And when I looked in the mirror, I'm not going to lie, I didn't see much of a difference now. I don't know if it's because I need to do this every night for maybe like a month or two to see a difference, or I don't know if I did not leave it on long enough. I did about 20 minutes. So there could be a lot of factors why I don't see a difference in my skin color. But at the same time, I will say that when I took the lotion off, the left side of my face does feel a lot smoother than the right side. So there's definitely some moisturizing elements, and uh, I think the collagen may, might be making a you know small difference. Um, however, I'm not gonna be using this product again because my personal goals, I don't wanna whiten my skin. I just wanted to see if it would work in one use. It looks like it didn't work, but that's a good thing because it'd be a little weird if I had one side of my face whiter and then this side of my face natural. So that was fun experiment. And uh, again, I love my skin color and all of you watching this, you should love your skin color too. So if you found this video because you were looking to use this product to whiten your skin because you want to live up to your society's beauty standards, I would recommend don't do that because you'll never get to that goal. You're always going to be trying to get to the beauty standards that you think that you need to be at and you'll never achieve it and you'll just feel very empty and basically you'll be on an endless runner game where you're just running and running and running with no end in sight. So learn to embrace you know, all of your physical beauty, learn to embrace your skin color, Learn to embrace your, your, your perfections, your flaws, whatever it is. Just learn to embrace who you are and don't worry about all this cosmetic nonsense, all right? Beauty fades, develop your insides, develop your brain, develop your heart, you know, because beauty's gonna fade. So that's my opinion. The product smells good. The product moisturized my skin, but luckily did not wet my skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this product review. If you did, leave a comment. If you guys have any suggestions for other products you'd like me to try, I will try whatever. I don't care if it's a product for a man or a woman or whatever gender. I will try the products for you guys. So just, uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, check me out on Instagram, Adam Francisco. And remember, as always, be free, my sheeple. Hey, guys. Be free, my sheeple.